Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to bend drywall. This will be a full tutorial with easy instructions, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is a small piece of drywall that I had left over from an old project that I did. I actually had a larger piece and I cut out this small piece just to use for this tutorial, okay? So basically when you wanna bend drywall, there are a couple of options, but your best option is going to be to use water to your advantage because drywall, when you add water to it, to a certain degree, it will make it bendable and malleable. And when it dries up, it will retain that shape. So essentially this is what you're gonna do. This is, you need to understand, this is the paper side. This is the front side of the drywall that gets mudded, taped, and painted over. This is the back side right here. You can tell it's the back side because it has this little lip and it looks more like a cardboard. It's a little bit rougher, not as finished and so forth. What you wanna do is you wanna focus on the back side and then allow the water to seep through towards the front side. When you're bending drywall, you need to understand that the back side is gonna be the stiffer side. The front side is all of this, 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 it's just this stuff inside, right? So when you wet this stuff, it's gonna soften up and when you let it dry, it's gonna harden again. So the idea is very simple. You can use a wet rag like this or you can use uh, like a, a paint roller, but just with water on it. I prefer to use a wet rag unless I'm doing like a big piece of drywall. If I'm just doing a small piece, I prefer to use a wet rag. Now it's always better, I'll actually I'll say that at the end. So what you wanna do, I'll give you the tip at the end, just stay tuned for it because let me show you what to do first. You wanna take your damp cloth or your damp paint roller and you wanna just use it to wet the back of the drywall. As you can see, I'm wetting the back of the drywall. Now what's gonna happen is this paper at the back it, you can already, I can already feel it, it's, it's gonna start softening up, okay? So you wanna essentially get a good amount of water on there. But here's my tip to you, okay? Here's my legendary tip, having done this a handful of times in a previous renovation, okay? Here's my tip to you. You can always add more water after. So what you need is you need time on your side. You need the ability to check on this um, within a period of an hour, a few times to see if you need to add more water or not. So what I did right here was I added just a little bit of water. And what I would do now is I would give it a couple of minutes. That water is then going to sort of seep through the cardboard. And then I would do it again. So you can already see over here on the shadowing that it's already starting to seep through the cardboard. So once I did that, right, and it seeped through the cardboard, a couple minutes later, so we'll call it five to 10 minutes later, I would come back and I would get more water on there. Like I said, and I'm using a towel. You can by all means use a roller, whatever, whatever works for you. And then you're gonna let it sit. And what's gonna happen is, you're gonna come and check on it at this point every, we'll call it 15 minutes, okay? And if you, and what your, your goal is, is your goal is to get that water to seep through to here, where it's gonna soften up the drywall. When it softens up the drywall, then you can bend it. Right now, if I try and bend this, I'm gonna break it, right? Because it hasn't seeped through. But, okay, if I wet it, and I let that water seep through, okay? It's gonna soften up the drywall, okay? I need to come back within the hour and I need to bend it because you need to bend it when it is still damp, okay? Once you've bent the drywall, okay? Once you've bent the drywall and you have it to your exact form that you want, you then let it dry and it's gonna dry up and it's gonna harden up again. As it dries up, you can start to see it seeping through. That's just the outside, but you can start to see it seeping through. Um, I'll put a little bit more water here. Like I said, you, I would probably use a little bit less water than that, but I'm gonna put a bit more water just so you can probably hopefully see it seep through, okay? Um, essentially, you're gonna, you're, once it's bent in the exact shape that you want it to be, then what you can do is you can then um, let it dry, okay? Now, here are a few quick tips. If you're going for just a slight curve, just a slight, slight curve, you probably won't need to make any cuts on the drywall because you can just wet it and you should be able to curve it nicely. If you're going for a more aggressive curve, then I do recommend that you put cuts along the back here. So put cuts every you know, few inches, okay? Depending on how aggressive the curve is. And then what you can do is you can bend it based on those cuts, okay? And then when you screw the when you screw the piece of drywall in place, when you secure it in place, essentially you're gonna just mud over it and it's gonna all look smooth anyways. But yeah, basically you want it to seep through. This is just because the water's on the floor. But you want it, so you can start to see here, look, you can start to see, watch this, check this out. You can start to see that it's getting softer along the edge. Check that out right there. You can see 
It's a little bit more malleable along the edge. There we go. I mean, I, like I said, I, I'm rushing this. I would have, I should have waited, right? You don't want to go too early because then you're going to rush it and you might crack the drywall piece, right? So take your time, make sure it's seeped through. You can see the paper starting to loosen here, right? Make sure it's seeped through and you're good to go. Essentially, you just want to make sure that you bend it when it's wet and that you let it dry and make sure you let it dry. You want to make sure it's fully dry before you install it. Okay, and that's basically that is how to bend drywall an easy tutorial with full instructions. A full tutorial with easy instructions, I meant. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.